Hi guys, this is Survivor. We are now going to do a Wallybot world event. Um, it's quite a difficult video to follow, I suppose. So a lot more in depth than the others. Um, but you'll need to do the packs as well first, so watch that one. Uh, this is for the world event, and I hope it helps you out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Right, so in this video, we are going to create a world event. Um, this is a bit more in-depth than the other two, for obvious reasons, so bear with me. First of all, I've logged in as the bot, um, which you do with Control and D before you go into your server. I do it that way because literally you haven't got to worry about any zombies be spawning in and attacking you while you're trying to get coordinates and blah, 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 blah. Um, and it's just a lot easier. I'll be in windowed mode as well because then you can jump backwards and forwards to the Wallybot panel. So basically we're going to do it in this town, so I haven't got one here, so what we do is I always find the name of the town, which I've written down because I'm never going to remember how to spell that. So then I go to the middle of the town, roughly, as I've got to be spot on, just and go down close to the floor. All right, and then bring up your chat screen, and here you need to do location, then a space, select your name, space, and true. That gives you these coordinates. So what you need to do is copy them just up to the equals. And you'll see why in a minute. Then Control and C to copy. Now we need to go into Wallybot and down to a world event. This is the settings. I've got it set. Just any if it's on, anybody's on, it will still do it. Keep people entertained. We've got the time at every hour and two minutes past the hour literally because we have a zombie horde that spawns um, on the hour every hour so the bot gets time to spawn in the horde before it goes on to the next one which is the world event. Uh, uh, additional is every hour at 5, 15, 25. You can have these minutes as often as you want um, and it's probably better to change it depending on how many people are on the server. If that's for that. And the available packs. Now what I've done, if I go to packs, I'll show you. All these events, this has basically got zombies in it. So I can just pick what one I like. But I also have got things called Warzone. And these are all different guns that it will spawn. If you go to the MK18, for example, it is a fully kitted out MK18 with a backpack to carry it away in. Um, just copy and paste your codes from the game, or if you've got admin helper, um, use that. And then just create various packs of whatever you want to put in. Obviously, to create the packs, so I've done a pack video so you can see how to do that. So we go back to the world event. Obviously select your world event channel, a little message. And this is where you select your packs. You can do whatever ones you want to put in it. Um, obviously we've got two zombies, two lots of loot. So in this event, I'm going to change the block. And I think I'll put the shotgun and two lots of zombies and we'll also do an AK-15 and that's the random loot that it will spawn okay and go back up to that so it says five selected world event yeah come down to here and you create your world event 
And this is where writing down the name comes in handy. Z A G O R J E. Now your event location, you just copied that code, that um, location in the game, so it's pasted it in there. Then you need to remove the Z and the equals. Now this one, for the Z location, you need to remove all of it. And just put 75. 75 is the height. It needs it. Uh, without it, it won't work. If you do, don't delete the Z, your event won't work. So now we need the locations. So I do go back to scum. Um, and now you're selecting where you want loot to load into the all zombies. Depends what pack it brings in. What you want to load and where. So what we do, we'll go up on top of the police station for one. Again, just off the floor. And now it is location time. All we need you to do is press up because we've already done it once. And that is your first loot location. Just up to there again. And copy. Back to Wallybot. Do a V. Then you need to delete the Y and Z because it's literally the coordinates without the X equals, Y equals, and Z equals. Press return. Go back to scum. Now think of another place you want some. There's a nice little shed down here. Same again. Location. Control and C to copy. Back to Wallybot. Back in there. And delete the crap that we don't need. I'm going to do five locations for this because I've got five lots of loot. Um, where are we? We now go back to Scum. So now where else should we do some? Again, it's all about location, location, location. Copy that one, back to Wallybot, paste it in there. And scum. quite repetitive but it don't take long really it's all about yeah main settings on the world event page in your panel which we'll go back over once <coughs> excuse me once we have um, finished these we'll do one more I like to do them quite spread out. Yeah, let's go and do it in the goal. And 
copy and paste the last one. Copy. Well, they got Discord. Bosh. Now, as I said, don't forget this one up here. The whole of the Z has to go. We replaced by 75. Otherwise, she will not work. Right, so that's my five locations. Add event. And that's it. Um, if you go back to it, if these are not highlighted, there's something wrong. Um, but it's quite, it's quite simple once you get the knack anyway. Um, so that one's done. So we close that and you'll see it's the same as all the other ones. That one's a big town, that's why I put more loot spaces. And that's it. Then click save. So now you go back to it, you'll see it's all there. Right, so these again. Don't forget, it depends how often you want to do it. We have it every hour at two minutes past the hour. It is two minutes because of our zombie horde that spawns on the hour. So you can see there, 102 today. Additional loot. Every hour, 5 past, 15, 25, blah, blah, blah. Depends how many you want to do. Available packs. It's whatever you want it to be. So we'll go down. We'll get rid of the block like we did before. Put in that. And we'll have an AK-15. And then save your changes. And it, that's it. It's, it's that simple. There's now five packs selected. Like I say, this bit here is the important part. This. So if you get the timing wrong, it won't work. As well as having the coordinates not right won't work. It's got to be right. And also don't forget to enable it. Otherwise you'll be thinking it's not working. And it's not enabled. And that's your world event. It's that simple, pretty quick, once you get a knack of it. First one will take you a little while because you'll have to keep watching the video and pausing it and listening to my lovely voice all the way through. But that's it. Um, that should be all you need to know. And good luck. And I'll catch you on the next one.